Hey, what's up, my Barn on Nation? This is Chris, and of course, if you have watched this, you know this is my channel, Barn on 11970. And as always, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. All right, guys, as I'm sitting back, kind of seeing where the economy and where things are headed, I've been watching a lot of people's videos. I've been watching as much news reports as far as alternative media is concerned, as people that have subscribed to my channel know. I don't subscribe to main screen, mainstream TV. As a matter of fact, I don't even have a cable box to be able to watch regular TV. But I still try and keep up with some of the stuff that's going on. I stay away from the fear porn and, and all the things where people are not sure what's going on. I just try and focus on what's important. And it's just amazing to me when you watch, especially on YouTube and alternative media outlets, it's amazing how many people around the world are starting to get what's going on as far as how the monetary system works, the corruption with banks, the way that all countries really work together to cause these problems because the few at the top, they basically conspire to make all of the money they can off of the wealth of the ignorant. And speaking of which, it seems like almost all the countries in the world, except the country that I'm in, which is the United States of America Corporation, how few people really either know or even care about what's going on in the world and what could potentially be happening. Um, if you ask the average person on the street what QE means, they would look at you like you had two heads. The average person would not even know. As a matter of fact, I'll make a challenge to anybody out there. If you go to your place of work, or if you just go to anywhere on the street and you just go up to somebody and ask them what QE means, I would be shocked if one out of a hundred would know what you are talking about. But if you talked about what happened in the last couple of like 30 seconds of the Super Bowl, I guarantee you probably 60% of the people you talk to would be able to explain it in pretty decent detail. So for me, it really concerns me as far as the whole is responsible for itself and the individual is responsible for itself. But what the masses do can dictate what happens to everybody. Always exceptions because the people that are prepared for any kind of situations are not going to be stuck with the, what the masses end up doing. And ultimately, if you see any crisis throughout history, the majority of people are lulled into a sleep. They are distracted with entertainment or fear or, you know, the economy struggling, so they're focusing on trying to make as much money as they can and not focusing on what if something happens. Now, that doesn't have to be a World War Three scenario. I've always said that just because when I say people to prepare for things, it doesn't necessarily mean there has to be some major catastrophe. Something as simple as power going out for a week could end up potentially damaging families, properties, even lives. So for those of you who are preparing for these situations, if they don't happen, that's wonderful. I mean, I'm the first person to admit, I hope there never is an economic collapse. I hope there is never a World War III. I, I don't believe there ever will be, but I'm not going to be disappointed if all of a sudden I, I go on my deathbed, whatever year that is, and say, oh, darn, I was wrong. There was no economic collapse. I'm not worried about that. But if you go throughout history and you see where this economy is headed, better to be safe than sorry. And what scares me is, especially in this country, how few people understand the concept of what is money, how it's created, and how they are stealing it from you. And that's why, like they say sometimes where they try and control the numbers, they talk about inflation, how they're keeping it under control. Well, if you see products, they may not be getting more expensive, which gives you the illusion of controlling of inflation. But notice how small the packages are. Look at a box of cereal. It's half the size it used to be. It's thinner and it's shorter. But yet it's still the same price that of something that you paid probably maybe 10 cents less for five years ago probably less than that. I mean, let's put it this way. How many of you that live in this country, how many of you have recently gone to the supermarket and purchased a half gallon of ice cream? 
You don't see those anymore, but yet you still see the prices of what half gallons would cost. So the way they trick you by making you have the illusion of keeping control of inflation is by reducing the amount of product, but keeping the cost the same or thinner material. I mean, look at a bottle of water. You can almost squeeze through a bottle of water. The plastic is so thin. So they're using less material, which means less cost, so they can actually pass that on to the, to the consumer. But basically, you're paying the same price for less material. And if you talk about people who talk about deflation, most of the people will argue, well, having the prices of like things like gas going down, gold and silver and the precious metals have gone down? Yes, these are things manipulated by paper. Now, let me ask you this. Are the, is the price of your food going down? Is the price of your clothing going down? How about transportation, whether you take the train or the bus or you fly? Are those prices going down? So for a deflationary scenario, you would see all prices starting to go down. But again, like I said, with the supermarket and the food, which is one of the main things that we consume and use our money for, gas and, and food, they're controlling it by sm making the packages smaller. So when you know any Ponzi scheme and you know any scam will work and may work for a while, but it doesn't last forever. And you can't keep borrowing money with the concept of having to pay it back plus interest where they don't create enough money, quote unquote, to pay for that interest. You have to keep borrowing more. How high will it go before it pops, before the scam is revealed? And there are going to be millions of people that one day are just going to wake up and then find out that they can't get to their bank. They have no access. They're not allowed. Or the lines of the gas stations are two miles long. And you can't say that's crazy because trust me, when Hurricane Sandy happened, that's just what was happening. People were spending the night sleeping in their cars because they weren't prepared. The first things people are going to do are go for food and they're going to go for water. Now, again, like I've said in many videos, I don't do this to scare people. It's just to make people aware because if you are prepared for any scenario, then you're not one of the people that has to worry. So, for example, if you have a wood burning stove, Better to have a bunch of wood and have too much of it than to f try and scramble for it at the last minute. Because if you have a blizzard and there's two feet of snow outside and you can't get outside to get the wood, well, what good is it if you have wood cutters and you have a truck that could bring you somewhere to go cut down wood? If you can't get access to it, it does you no good. So it's all about being prepared, but it's also being aware. And it's amazing how dumbed down, especially people in this country are. Now, you could say things like, well, governments don't teach us this stuff, which is true. Politicians never talk about it. Also true. Schools will never teach these things. The media will never talk about these things. They'll never mention it. You'll never see it in a newspaper. But people have to take responsibility for themselves. And I've heard over the years, so many people, when you talk about conspiracies, and one of the biggest arguments is, well, if this stuff was true, people would talk about it. People have always talked about things throughout history. It's just when people don't listen to it, the message gets ignored. So it's not that people aren't screaming out there on the top of their lungs trying to help people. It's just you're trained to be, believe the average person that those people are crazy and you have to stay away from them. But if you think of it a logical standpoint, well, what better way to keep information from getting out there if the very people you don't want to have that information brought out, you make them seem like they're crazy, or there's something wrong with them. But that only works for so long. So if you know anybody out there that doesn't believe in this stuff, get them to start watching videos and watch the alternative news. Let them see things like what's happening between China and Russia. Let them know the reasons why gas prices went down. Let them hear about the things that are going on over in Sweden and how things like with hap what's happening and potentially could be happening with Greece and Italy and Spain and Germany. These are things people need to be aware of because it's important.
for your family, for yourself, for your pocketbook. So I hope people will do that. I hope people will take it seriously. It doesn't mean, and I made this mistake a long time ago where I made it my life every day. I had to, had to try and find the answer. And then all that does is it stresses you out and you just don't live. So I'm not saying make it your ultimate obsession. You have to have middle ground. And that's why I've been kind of taking it easy lately because it's given me time to reflect on other important things. I'm still paying attention to this. I still believe in how gold and silver, physical form of it, is going to help you in the future if there are problems with the paper currencies. So I'm still into that. That hasn't changed. And I still see that our governments are failing us while they, they help the major corporations by bailing them out. What about the mom and pop businesses? Where's their bailouts? And if a government is borrowing money from a foreign bank that we have to pay for, your taxes are not going where you think they are. So we have to stop just assuming because we're ultimately responsible for what we do as an individual and as a whole. And if this country doesn't wake up soon and doesn't pay more attention to what's important, once game is over, it's game over. And again, it doesn't have to be a major scenario. You've seen time and time again with little events how people panic and overreact. It's just human nature. Don't be one of those people. So spread this information. Let them watch other videos. Make your own. Do your part and don't give up. Because otherwise, what can happen to the masses can eventually trickle down to even get the people who prepared. So it's time we all help each other. And those out there who don't believe in this stuff, I've said it before and I'll say it again, belief is irrelevant because you can't see air. You can't taste it. You can't draw it. You don't know what it looks like. You've never heard it. So it's irrelevant if you don't believe in it. You're breathing it, aren't you? So thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate all the thumbs up and all the support. Sharing my videos really gets the information out. To all my new subscribers out there, I welcome you. To the ones that are watching my, this as their first video, I hope you will hit the subscribe button and um, leave your comments. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and be prepared for anything. Peace.